it's a brick. I could throw this at somebody and hurt them. Because they killed themselves one by one in the span of one year. The fourth book I did not even know existed and beautiful and lyrical. Like everything she writes is beautiful. Hey honeybees, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book haul. I have not done one of these in a minute and I got a lot of books. And I mean a lot. But honestly, it's not a lot. But it's just enough. And I have more new books, but I don't have them with me. I actually took them home. Bought new books. It just doesn't make any sense. Also, I'm very sorry for any noise that you do hear in the background because it is definitely not me. I live in a dorm, so like people are running in and out and doors are slamming and whatnot. So like if you hear it in the background, I'm so sorry. But um, other than that, let's just go ahead and get into it because I got like so many books starting off with a fan favorite that many people have had like the most amazing reviews about this is the song of achilles by madeline miller <laughs> i'm super excited to read this book um this is about achilles of course this is the best of all greeks um so basically this is a greek retelling or a greek god retelling story so basically this is about achilles and i'm really excited to see this like it's a retelling story it's not like the same achilles story that we originally heard but it's definitely a remake of it and i'm super excited to read it because so many people have said they cried a lot to this one and i believe it's just about like torn between feelings and love and fear and all of those good things in this book so i'm super excited to read it because i definitely don't know what i'm in store for i definitely have not read a book like this actually like i have not read any greek mythology type retelling books we'll see how it goes i'm not really sure but i'm super excited for it so the next one is something i'm super excited to read and i've read it before a little bit and like not all the way but this is a touch of darkness by scarlett sinclair now i read like a little bit of this one and this one was super exciting so this is a hades retelling another greek god i'm just super excited to read this one i'm thinking this is going to be super fun and spicy and romantic and all of that good stuff i've heard so many good things about this also some bad things but mostly good i actually read a little bit of this um i read like 20 pages into it and y'all i was just shook by everything it was just amazing like just from the start so I'm super excited to get back into the story and like read it completely this time and the rest of the series. I'm looking forward to reading the whole series. This book included, y'all already know, so yeah, another Greek God retelling. This one also is a very acclaimed author that others have talked about and the hype was real and of course I got the book. This is The Secret History by Donna Tart. I'm super, super excited to read this one. So y'all remember my dark Vanessa, right? <clears throat> back in new england again <laughs> i don't know what it is about me in new england but we be over there this is about that kind of thing so this is a professor and some students they get into this like well these aren't just students these are misfits so like they go into this like discovery of things and trying to go into like normality like normal mortality and stuff like that and then they turn into all kinds of things and then it ends up in evil so i'm super excited to read this one because i'm just feeling that this is going to be super exciting it's mysterious it's like mythical i i just love these kind of things because they always like grasp my attention immediately at the start because like there's just so much going on and, like it's so interesting to get to the end and it's like crawl creeping to you like by the time you get to the end and you just thinking with it super super excited to read this one i'm just like i'm ready I'm, I'm ready to get into it with everybody else like i'm ready to do it this next one is a lesbian romance and it's young adult i'm super excited to read this one this is one last stop by casey mc Weston or Quiston, one or the other, don't really know. Or I'm probably saying that all wrong altogether, I don't know. But anyways, this is about August, who is 23 and living in New York City. And she's trying to prove that she's right. And then Jane, dazzling, charming, mysterious, and possible Jane. <laughs> I don't really know. But I'm super excited to read this one. I think it's about like them meeting on a train. I think they met on a train. That's the real thing. I, I don't know. But I'm super excited to read it. I, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I usually get books and just grab them. You know, like if I heard a lot about it or I feel like I'm gonna like it, I just grab it. And I don't know much about it. But I do that. And I'm, this is one of those books. Um, a book that I grabbed. Don't know much about it. But I do know that I'm sure I'm gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, this is that one. And I'm super excited to read it. Of course, LGBT. We represent out here. You know, I love it. I love representation in every book. And I love like different personalities from two different characters. Love it, love it, love it. It's giving because her ones for me. You know what I'm saying? Not as if I'm not super excited to read all of these. But you know, like I'm super excited. Just try to count how many times I say super excited about everything that I am about to read. 
because I literally was super excited for everything. Another book that I'm also super excited for is this book right here. And this is a very hyped up book that I've seen all over TikTok for so long. This is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. Now, it's been four years, y'all. The first time I seen this on TikTok was like 2019. Yes, COVID years. Oh my God. The way people were hyping this book up and I never, ever, 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 ever went to go pick it up. Like, I just decided not to. But I finally got it. I'm ready to get on the bandwagon with Penelope Douglas. So here I am with Punk 57. This is about Misha and Ran. So basically they were pen pals and the teachers like pinned them up together at, from different schools. I'm super excited to read this one because like it's different. They were perfect together before we met. Or, you know, we were perfect together before we met. Whatever it is. I feel like I'm extra excited to read this one because it's just different. Like, I haven't read a pen pal kind of book like this. Like, I don't know. This is just a different kind of meeting in a book that I haven't seen. So I'm super excited for that one. Broadening my perspectives and views of books. So let's see how I like this one. This one right here is very much different from anything I've read. This is All About Love by Bell Hooks. This is basically Bell Hooks' version and telling of love and what is love specifically because it's such a very much frequently used noun that we use like love like what is it like what is love so in 13 chapters she shares her version of what love is and her opinion on what love is i love self-help books like these this might not seem like a self-help book but it's kind of categorized as it because it does give opinion gardening view all of that good stuff all right so this one is also kind of a memoir in a way this is crying in h mart by michelle zonar this is basically her story about her having to move across the country back to her mother so she was pursuing a indie rock career in music and then she has to move all the way back across the country to see her mother um, in Eugene Oregon or Oregon I'm so sorry I just don't know how to say words anymore basically she moves all the way back home and she has to you know reckon with grief and as her mother has been like fighting cancer and then she like you know gets that comfort through H Mart it's a personal story of course and I love reading things like this because it gives you those perspectives on how other people deal with grief and of course I'm still in my own grieving process about my grandmother so i just wanted to see like you know i love seeing other stories about things that everybody else goes through i just feel like it's definitely like one of the most beautiful things that we all experience things differently and i just like hearing views and how people deal with it in different ways and that's why i grabbed this one crying in age mark so super excited to read this one this one is midnight library by matt haig i'm definitely excited for this one it's kind of a mystical kind of story so basically this is about so what's her name nora and basically she goes into this library and she gets to live a different life through every book that she reads like most of us do we love reading about different lives but anyway she goes into this library and she's just like learning different ways to change the things that she regrets so i'm assuming she makes this deal with someone and she gets to redo all of the things that she regretted doing and basically with this like kind of advantage or disadvantage she gets to figure out what's the best way to live i find this really interesting because we all think like this every single day what if i had not or did do something and that is just like one question we all battle with every day i'm super excited to see how like it changes in like a mystical manner but also may relate to our real life struggles of things we may regret and things we want to change and how she'll change her life throughout doing that and how she will affect the people around her as well as herself I, I think this is gonna be interesting now this one right here was a book that was talked about or series shall i say that was talked about all last year this one is the voice of Tomen. so i am super excited to read this one along with the addicted series i think it was really popular popular last year but this one right here was talked about a lot by one of my favorite youtubers and her name is larry of course you should go and watch her she's amazing if you don't know her you need to know but she's amazing and she recommended this book so basically here it is binding 13 by chloe walsh this is the first book in the boys of Tolman series like so basically he wants to save her she wants to hide she's damaged he's determined fate brought them together love binds them so this is about johnny and shannon if i love this book i will go and buy the rest of this series now on to my favorite author like she's one of my favorite authors besides colleen hoover no other 
is no Colleen Hoover books in here today, which is actually surprising because I bought over 20 books. So, um, actually that's a lot. One of those books that I did buy that are not in this book haul is a Colleen Hoover book. Thank goodness for you if you don't like her. Oh, so of course, I had to go and get Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Y'all, if you don't know, now you know. Um, she is one of my favorite authors. I've talked about her a couple times on my channel. I've read The Seven Husbands of Heavenly Hugo and One True Loves and I fell in love with her writing. It's just so like mystical and beautiful and lyrical. Like everything she writes is beautiful. So I had to go get another book by her. So this one is very very interesting it's in the 60s this is about daisy whose voice is growing on the sunset strip and then basically she's singing at the whiskey go-go um which is us i'm assuming is a club and then there, there's billy dune who is in the band called the six and he finds out that his girlfriend camilla is pregnant while on tour so basically the producer decides to put the both of them together to like save like the day I guess I really don't know I'm super excited to read this one because I love how TJR literally goes into these different time periods of like years and decades and stuff like that she's so interesting for that and this one is definitely gonna be super exciting because this is literally the 60s I haven't read anything that is like placed in the 60s so I think this is gonna be super different I am super excited for this. A lot of people said this is play written, so like I'm assuming like they have it like a script type of writing. I'm thinking that's what that is. And then there's of course music in here. I'm super excited for that. And then after I'm done reading this, I'm gonna go watch the show because I'm super excited for that. Like I missed out on all the hype completely. Like I'm already behind, like very behind. I'm just now reading the book. So we're gonna see. I'm super excited for that. And of course I had to go buy another one. This is Malibu Rising by her. And this one is set in the 80s. Very much different from the other two. And the other one. You know, I'm super excited. I love how she just puts different time periods. It's really amazing. But anyway, this is the 80s. And this is about the Rivas. So this is the family. They're at the end of the year summer party and all of that good stuff. They're very famous and everybody loves being around them. I can't wait to start trying to do the who did this and who did what, you know, kind of thing. I love Doing that when it comes to books like these because there's always somebody you think did it and then they didn't do it and then somebody else did it it's just crazy i love that kind of stuff so i'm super excited for this one another one that i've missed all the hype on of course and it is now a series on hulu y'all already know normal people by sally rooney why do i miss the hype on everything i don't know what it is about me like i just won't read the book when it's in the hype but i'll read it after anyway super excited for this one this is about connell and moraine basically they grew up right next to each other in a small town love small town small town is everything to me at school connell is the well-liked one and Mar marianne is not the one who's like very popular she's a loner and that is as far as their similarities go pushed together and forced to be together they are beginning to catch feelings or whatnot i guess and i'm super excited for this this is about friendship love and fascination so I'm super excited we don't know what's gonna happen but we're about to find out together into a critically acclaimed classic this one is the virgin suicide by Jeffrey Eugenides. I'm not really sure if that's how you say his name, but you know, I'm always gonna mess it up every time. But anyways, this is about sisters who are living in this town, the suburbs of Detroit. Five Lipson sisters, beautiful, eccentric, and obsessively watched by the neighborhood boys. Oh my god, y'all, this is exciting. You wanna know why? Because they kill themselves one by one in the span of one year. Can you believe that? Like, actually, like, you know how crazy that has to be? Like, you know how much planning has to go behind that? So to be killing yourselves one by one, and at that, they're all virgins. Guys, something's wrong here. Basically, it's kind of like mysterious and like a coming of age humor kind of story. Well, dark humor that is, not just regular humor. This is hunted sensitivity. So like, I'm sure there are a bunch of trigger warnings I'm probably about to walk into. I couldn't even tell ya. This next one, I'm super excited to share with you guys i got this one in new york at the barnes and noble and guys guess what it's signed super excited this is called the honeys and this is by la sala um this is a spanish name it's signed y'all wait actually i have to show y'all oh my god 
Do you see that? No, this is super exciting because this is about like family secrets. Again, I love messy family drama because my life is messy. And this is about twins. This is basically Mars and Caroline. So Caroline actually ends up dying due to horrific circumstances. Not sure what those circumstances are. But anyways, his once inseparable sister is now gone and he is about to find out some things he's never found out before or never knew about. So basically he's been like left out like all of the family like stuff because because he was like the lesser twin and it was kind of sad like when I read this and I was like oh that's really horrible why would a family do that you know I love family drama so I had to grab it you already know I'm really excited to find out about like what's going on behind their family because we love the messiness and we stay messy no stay positive don't be messy I'm just really shocked that it's signed like I've never had a signed book this is my first one and I'm about to get a second one signed and I'm about to show you why so talking of about signed books this one however is not signed just yet the author is coming to our school this is miss me forever by eugene cross it's supposed to be here later i think it's the last day of this month he'll be here or the first week of february but i'm going to go get this sign because he's going to be in the lit house and i'm super excited to see his writing journey or whatnot whatever he's talking about because we gonna go read this together and he's supposed to be here for a reading of it i'm super excited for that and hopefully i can get his autograph so this book is about tulsi he grew up in refugee camp uh, at gold hop tulsi is technically a refugee for from Britain. So I'm believing this is like a place where like it's very like communistic and basically he has to move all the way to Pennsylvania with his grandfather. Reunites with him in a new country so he is growing and learning how to be in a new country and basically he grows these forging relationships with these new people. A young pastor's wife suffering a crisis of faith. A guarded transfer student with a mysterious past. A single mother whom Tulsi looks as a future brighter than he had ever imagined. So basically he leaves his sister behind his, her name is Tosnita. He has to grapple with the wound that he is holding inside from losing her. Track down the sister that he left behind. So basically, this is like a mystery family drama kind of thing. Super excited for that. Very different. Not that much different from everything else I was reading. But I'm super excited for it and I'm hoping that this is a great read. Off of all those great old grieving topics and fantasy, let's move on to some real life. This is Atomic Habits by James Clear. This is a self-help and developmental book and I'm super excited to read it. It's also psychological as well. I love books that have a little bit of psych, a little bit of everything. I love a little touch of my major. So this is about that. It's learning how to have healthy habits and all of those good stuff. It's basically self-improvement strategies to better yourself as a human and I just think this is going to be super fun and I just love reading things like this. I love developmental books. I love self-help books. They always sound so great to me and there's always so many great things in there that you can learn about yourself, human beings in general, life in general, all those good things that we question, other people write about and also question as well. So just getting to see people do that is super fun and exciting and I'm super excited to read this one. Many people have said very great things about this. There are so many great reviews out there about this book and how this book has helped them change their lives a little bit. This is On Earth We Are Briefly Beautiful by Ocean Vogue and I'm super excited to read this one. This is about a mother writing to her son who cannot read but I'm super excited to read it because I love bonds between mothers, fathers, family, anything family related that has a bonding moment in there. I love it. And this is one of those. His mother is a single mother and so she has been through so many triumphs and all of those things. So basically this is a letter to her son once he can read to see her history and the things that she was brought up in and that is between race class masculinity in our current american moment there's a lot of things like that happening in this world right now and so this is emerged of what addiction and violence and trauma can happen in these kind of things so it's definitely one of those books that like you have to like be able to have an open mind about we do know that there are so many struggles out here and i feel like so many more of us need to be reading books like this to find the struggles to find that relation between different races and all of that good stuff so i'm super excited to read this one all right you guys i'm super excited to share this series i haven't read anything like this and i have a bunch of these in my library i'm super excited to read this one because it has fae it has magic it has mystery all of those good things in here it has some adventure all of that good stuff it's super exciting this is the night and its moon so i have the first two here with me of this series night and its moon and then the sun and its shade i didn't know there was a fourth book y'all i have the third one at home it's not with me the fourth book i did not even know existed it snuck up on me when i bought these ones so after i bought all three i'm thinking oh i'm completed the series no they 
lied to me. There was four books. So basically this is about Knox and Amaris and they live in this orphanage. So basically they're orphans and Amaris and Knox get separated. But knowing that they have these magical forces that can't keep them apart between the heavens and the earths, they will find each other. No distance can keep them apart. Basically this is the beginning of their story. This is the continuing of their story. And then the third book, I can't remember what it's called, but there's four books in the series and it just continues their story and I'm super excited for that because this is just they're the two main characters and they get this limelight of all this good stuff so it's love and there's you know war and there's adventure and just trying not to be separated or you know anything like that I'm super excited like I got the first two books right here so if I end up finishing these before the end of the semester you know something's happening in here that is that good I haven't read anything of these two yet but I am looking for forward to doing that by the end of this year. Last but not least, a very exciting, really mysterious, mystical, magical, all that good stuff. Like kind of read. This is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paloni or Paloni. I'm really sorry. Like y'all, I swear to God, I keep messing up everybody's name. The next time you see me with these books, I will know how to pronounce their names. I swear. This is super exciting. This is about aliens, y'all. And now that we know they're real, this is even more exciting. So this is about Kara finds an alien relic. Every Everything begins to move around her world friendly because she found it and so she basically is launched into this galaxy spinning odyssey of discovery and transformation and she has to go through like all of these different things like y'all I'm actually so excited for this and let me let y'all know this baby I'm 200 shy of a thousand pages this has 800 and I couldn't even tell you 800 and something pages and like a hundred like almost 30 almost 30 to 50 of those pages are an appendix of things that are happening in this book i'm thinking there's a map in here i believe there is i'm not even sure i think there is one but it has a table of contents y'all like this book is big instead of splitting this book up he put everything in here like do you see this like y'all there's a whole map i couldn't even tell you like what in the world is happening and there's little like y'all this is a really thick book like no joke like this is a textbook oh it's a big book it's a really big book y'all like this is big you <laughs> it's a brick you can throw this at somebody and hurt them like <laughs> that's not funny don't do that but i'm super excited for this it just has everything i'm looking for i read one book like this it was called we are the ants and y'all that book literally blew me away i love that book about henry henry was my favorite character for a while like i remember reading about henry and just loving him for like months on and i just continuously thought about this book for so long i had no clue i was thinking about the book until i knew i was thinking about the book and then i found this in my school bookstore and i was just shook like i needed to get it because i'm so beautiful like not only did this capture me like all this was beautiful but when i read the back i was like do you hear me this is really beautiful i i'm, I'm looking like I'm loving this. I'm loving all that. And that's my favorite color. This is literally the biggest book in all of my collections. Actually, that's a lot. I have a book that is a thousand pages, but I don't have it right now. But anyways, this is really amazing, beautiful, stunning, absolutely beautiful, incredible. Like, I cannot wait to read this book. All right, you guys. So that was all of the books. There are 20 books in total that I share with you. I will link them all down below. Well, I won't link them, but I'll put all the authors and the titles all down below so like if you're looking for them you can definitely look them up i don't shop at one specific place i shop a bunch of places i go from my school bookstore the bookstore in town barnes and nobles target walmart amazon i can't link it for you because i shop everywhere and you're just gonna be going from tab to tab like don't do that so i'm just gonna put them down below like i always do every video there's always this section that says books and video and i just put all the books that i read in that video i am so 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 excited to like read every single one of these books there's like no way i'm not gonna read any of these because I, I bought them all and usually when books are staying in there for too long i usually pick them up and be like i'm just gonna go ahead and read it and i end up binging it and anyways that is going to be the end of today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i know i did i love reading the like synopsis on all of them again and just sharing them with you guys because these are just 
beautiful and I, it improved to me that I'm gonna read every single one of these. Anyways, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Always remember to be true and be you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.